Howdy y'all, welcome to another day of math and three-dimensional geometry. Here we go. Um, we are going to be powering through another day of surface area. Yesterday, we looked at the surface area of one shape in particular. We looked at prisms and very specifically rectangular prisms. Today, we're going to take our knowledge from that and further it a bit. We're going to be doing surface area but of triangular prisms. So another prism, but this time triangular. So as a recap, what is surface area? Surface area is if you could take all of the flat surfaces of a three-dimensional figure, somewhat like taking a box of cereal and unfolding it and laying that box flat, and then finding the area of each and every shape and combining it, adding it all together. Um, so yesterday, before we even started, we looked at the rectangular prism and pretended that we were unfolding it virtually, so we're gonna do that together now. Here is a triangular prism. I know it's a triangular prism because it has two triangles that are the bases. They're the bases because they're the same shape and they're across from one another. Um, they're parallel, so to speak. If we were to unfold this, it would look like, ta-da! this. Uh, it would have the two triangle bases folded down, and then it would have the three rectangle faces. And um, I tried to color code it so you could tell what's what. So take a second and examine. Does anyone remember what this is called, this flat thing? If you're saying net to yourself, you're correct. A net is a flat two-dimensional representation of a three-dimensional figure. A net is if you unfold it and lay it flat. That's what it looks like. It's called a net. Um, so, okay, surface area, let's do it. Here is a nice triangular prism. Um, if you were to unfold this guy, it would look like this. If you can also recall, I said I'm not good at unfolding anything and finding nets. Visually, it's challenging for me. So the other option is to do um, like a labeling method, list out all of the sides. And here's a little hack for some of you in case you're uh, having trouble listing them out. Triangular prisms are always going to have the same five sides. You're gonna have two triangles and you're going to have three rectangles. So in all of the shapes today, when they are rectangular, I mean, excuse me, triangular prisms, it's always going to be two triangles and three rectangles. So as long as you list out all five of those shapes, find their areas and add them all together, you'll be in a good shape. <laughs> Get it? So first, let's start with the two triangles. Um, I'm going to use green since in the figure here, they are green. Um, if you look at the original shape, you can find everything that you need here. So first we have two triangles. So triangle. And the triangle has a base of 12. That's the bottom of it. And a height, which I'm going to outline in black here. The height goes from the base to the tippy tippy top. And that is five centimeters tall. So those two measures are important when finding the area of a triangle because our triangle formula is one half times the base of the triangle times its height. So in this scenario it's one half times 12 times 5 which if you do your multiplication correctly you should come up with 30. However don't stop there. Keep in mind that we have two identical triangles, which means I've got to do this whole thing times two. I have to double it, because there's two triangles. So I'm going to take this final area and multiply it by two, and my true triangle area for both triangles is 60 square centimeters. So we're part of the way there. We've got our two triangles done, now we're going to move over to the rectangles. In this particular figure, there are three rectangles and they're all slightly different. So let's see what we can do. The first one I'm going to deal with 
is, uh, and I'm going to use colors because it helps to see things. I'm going to do this blue rectangle that's kind of like the, the slanted side. And that was a really bad tracing job. I'm going to try again. Here we go. <laughs> whatever the we're dealing with the blue rectangle I can't trace it um, I'm gonna draw a blue rectangle here and the measures that are important here are this side that I can't seem to draw very well that's 13 inches and the other important measure is the width of the triangle which is this side here or this side here either way it's eight centimeters and the way I know that is if this down here is 8, then across from it must also be 8, which is this side here. So our blue rectangle is 13 by 8. Remember the area of a rectangle is just length times width. So 13 times 8, which is 104. And there's only one blue rectangle, so we can stop there. Okay. All right. So we've got one rectangle, two more to go. Um, this time I'm gonna do the, uh, the rectangle that you can see a little bit better. You can't really see yellow when I use that color, so I'm gonna use black to trace it. Not too bad, look at that, nice. All right, the um, back rectangle, the dimensions are super easy to see. It's eight on the bottom by five going up, so length and a width of eight and five. So the area of this back rectangle is 40 square centimeters and we're almost done we're one rectangle away from completing this problem the other rectangle is challenging to see but if you use a little bit of creativity and visual thinking it's on the bottom right we can't really see the bottom um, I'll use a different color I'll use red um, so the bottom rectangle is Oh, not bad. It's right there. And that rectangle is 12 inches, excuse me, centimeters by 8 centimeters. And so its area is 12 times 8. And 12 times 8 is 96. Cool. So we're done now. Other than adding everything together, um, we're going to combine 60 plus 104 plus 40 plus 96. So in total, the final surface area of this figure is 300, even 300. You can check the math if you'd like. 300 square centimeters. And just to recap, I found the area of every flat surface that was two triangles and then these three rectangles. And I combined all of those things together for a grand total of 300 square centimeters. And that's surface area, excuse me, surface area. If you'd like to see one more example, here you go. Um, We've got a nice red triangular prism, and if you were to unfold it, this is what the net would look like. I'm not good at nets, so I'm going to break it up just like I did the previous problem. Um, first, I'm gonna do the triangles, and remember there's two of them, so here we go. In case you're having trouble seeing that, it's right here. There's one there, and there's one across from it in the back. So two triangles, uh, the bottom of the triangle, the base of the triangle is 24, and its height going from the bottom up to the very tippy tippy top straight line is five. So for this problem in particular, the triangles are gonna be 24 times five divided by two, because area of a triangle is base times height times half, but we're gonna double that since there's two of them. So uh, 24 times five times one half is 60, but since there's two of them, it's 120. So both triangles combined are 120. Um, cool, next we are going to find the three rectangles. And in this case, We've got a rectangle over here, and that rectangle is 13 by 8.5. The 13 is pretty easy to see. It's running right along this side. The 8.5, I figured if this is 8.5, and, 
then the side across from it must also be eight and a half. So up here is eight and a half. So 13 by eight and one half, which feel free to use a calculator. Either way, the math works out that this is 110.5. All right. Um, the next rectangle that I'm going to try to find the area of is the side that we can probably see the best. And that's right here. Um, and this actually is nice. It ends up being the same dimensions. It's 13 here by 8.5 here. So 13 by 8.5 which we already know is going to be 110 and a half because the previous rectangle happened to have the same dimensions. All right, cool. And then the last rectangle that we're going to find is on the bottom here and it goes like this and like this. There you go. Cool. And this rectangle is a little bit bigger. It's 24 inches by eight and a half. All right. 24 by eight and a half, and uh, that, 24 times eight and one half, if you use a calculator, it ends up being 204 even inches squared. And then last but not least, we are going to add all of these five sides together, one, two triangles, and then one, two, three, three rectangles. For a grand total, surface area of 545 square inches. Fantastico. All right, if you have any questions, feel free to message us and let us know. Otherwise, have a great time doing surface area of triangular prisms. See ya later.